You were offered two jobs selling furniture. The two stores offer you the following two pay options. Rosa's Furniture offers you a job paying a base salary of $15,000 a year plus a commission of 10% of your sales. Shane's Furniture offers you a job paying a base salary of $18,000 a year plus a commission of 4% of your sales. In order for the job with Rosa's Furniture to produce a larger income than the job with Shane's Furniture, your sales would need to be more than how much per year? We'll first write two equations to represent your annual pay for each store. Let's let P be equal to the annual pay, and let's let S equal the annual sales. So for Rosa's Furniture, you have a base salary of $15,000 plus 10% commission on your sales. So the annual pay P would be equal to 15,000 plus 10% 10 of your sales. 10% as a decimal would be 0 0.10. So plus 0 0.10 times S, your annual sales. And now for Shane's Furniture, your annual pay would be equal to the base salary of 18000 plus a commission of 4% of your sales. 4% as a decimal is 0 0.04, so plus 0 0.04 S. So again, this P is your annual pay for Rosa's Furniture, we'll call this P sub R, and this P is general pay for Shane's Furniture, which we'll call P sub S. In order for your job with Rosa's Furniture to produce a larger income than the job with Shane's Furniture, we want to determine when the annual pay from Rosa's Furniture Store, P sub R, would be greater than the annual pay from Shane's Furniture, which is P sub S. Well, P sub R is equal to 15,000 plus 0 0.10 S. If we want to know when this is greater than P sub S, which is 18,000 plus 0 0.04 S. And now we solve this inequality just like we solve an equation, except if we multiply or divide by a negative when solving for S, we do have to reverse the inequality symbol. Let's first get the S term on one side. Let's go ahead and subtract 0 0.04 S on both sides. This would give us 15,000. This difference here is going to be 0 0.06, so plus 0 0.06s is greater than 18,000, and this is 0. Now we'll isolate the s term by subtracting 15,000 on both sides. So this is 0, so we have 0 0.06s is greater than 3,000. Last step, we divide both sides by 0 0.06. Notice here we're dividing by a positive, so we do not reverse the inequality. S is greater than this quotient here, which we'll determine on the calculator. We have 3,000 divided by 0 0.06, which is equal to 50,000. which means in order for Rosa's Furniture to produce a larger income than the job with Shane's Furniture, your sales would need to be more than $50,000 per year. So if you can sell more than this amount, you'd make more money working for Rosa's Furniture rather than Shane's. I hope you found this helpful.